Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be installing upper door skins on my TJ here. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe. So I recently installed a new top onto my TJ and now I need to install the upper door skins to match. When I ordered the top, they didn't have the door skins in stock, so I had to order them through another source. Now it's not absolutely necessary to replace the door skins when you replace the top, but as you can see, my door skins are a different color than the top that I picked. So I went ahead and ordered what I needed so that I can make it all match. So the first step in this process, we're just gonna go ahead and lift the windows out of the doors and move our way into the garage. Now these upper door skins that I purchased are from Smittybilt. You can find them on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below. So first thing, you wanna make sure that you have a nice soft surface to work on. That way you can prevent any scratching of your windows. You're gonna be moving around the window a whole lot and the more you move it on a surface, the more it's gonna scratch. So try to do it on a soft surface. The best thing to do is set yourself up a table or use your kitchen table and lay a blanket across it that is nice and soft. This here is just a snuggie. Now the first thing we need to do is remove the old door skin from the frame. Now this one here has already been replaced in the past, so it's all pretty much Velcroed around. If it's still the way it was from the factory, chances are everything is sewn in place and you're gonna have to cut out the stitching or just completely cut off the windows themselves and then remove the frame. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the skins off of this window frame. Now because this is a tight fit and it stretches over the frame, it's a lot easier to remove and install with the window unzipped. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unzip the window and then de-Velcro everything and peel it off the frame. Am I allowed to say Velcro or do I have to say hook and loop like everybody else? This is pretty dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wipe down before I go ahead and put the new one on. All right, now to install the new skin on the frame, we're gonna go ahead and lay it down on our table here, inside facing up. Now once again, it's a lot easier to stretch everything out with the window unzipped. So we're gonna go ahead and unzip the window. Now I forgot to mention before you get this far, it's very beneficial to set these out in the sun for a couple of hours, let them warm up because they can actually shrink one to two inches when it's cold out. So you wanna make sure that they've been sitting in a hot area I believe the instructions say above 75 degrees, but it's good to let these sit out in the sun or in a nice warm area. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and slowly un-Velcro all of this Velcro here on the bottom. Just kind of open that up a little bit because the frame is gonna sit right in there. Then I'm gonna set my frame in on the bottom first. I'm gonna kind of tuck it into the corners and get it all set up. I'm gonna start towards the front of the window first, get it locked in in the back, and then work my way up to the top of the door. Now it's important to remember that it is going to be extremely tight, but don't force it because the worst thing you can do is force it and it rip or tear, or you poke the frame through the fabric and that wouldn't be good. All good on the bottom. Now I just need to slowly work it over the top. Once again, working from the front of the window all the way to the back of the window. Now on this back corner here, there is this little tab. You can pull it around the bar and it gives you that nice leverage that you need to slowly work it over 
the lip around that rounded edge. And just like that, it's on. And the last step, Velcro. So we're gonna fold our tabs up and then fold the top down. Once again, on the top here, Velcro it in place, make sure it all fits nice and snug, and then zip it up. And just like that, it's all done, and all I gotta do is repeat that process for the other side. So I've been driving around for a few days with my new windows on. Here's my full and honest opinion on these windows. So first off, for a budget-friendly window, I'm actually really impressed in the product that Smittybilt puts out. You can tell that it's pretty much the same exact shade as the quadra top here, which probably just means that they're both made in the same factory somewhere. I mean, the stitching looks the same, pretty much everything looks the same, so it matches really well. My one complaint though, is these zippers. Now my complaint is not how they work. They actually move really easy and smooth. The windows do seem to be a little bit thinner than the original windows I had on here, but that is perfectly fine because the material is nice and hefty and thick. So I'm actually extremely happy with the material. But the zippers, the way that they sit, they rattle so loud going down the road. I can hear it over all of the road noise in the Jeep. That might just be because I notice it because this top is quieter than my last top, but these zippers do rattle a whole lot. So the question is, would I buy these windows again? And the answer to that is absolutely. I am extremely happy with the way that they fit, the way that they sit, and how easily they installed. So overall, thumbs up for me. They are amazing, especially for a budget option for the upper door skins. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can check me out on Instagram at It's Project Venture, as well as the Tickety Talk at It's Project Venture. Thanks for watching.